Mary and I have officially broken up, I think. I were single and Mary was single. Would I date her? No, I wouldn't. She is upset that I dragged this out so long. I don't blame her. I'm looking in this triple breakup, like Christine's, then Janelle, and now Mary. I don't want Mary to be in this place where she's taking this, this direction that both Christine and Janelle have taken. Oh yeah, I need one more enemy right now. And so I'm trying to be in this place with Mary where it's like, hey, can we just be friends and move on? Hi friends, this is Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, September 30th, 2024. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Episode three of season 19 of Sister Wives was a hot mess express. I just uploaded a video talking about a person's wedding who happened to be Logan, the oldest son of the family, to his wife, Michelle, back in October of 2022. And we already went over how Cody and Robin basically made themselves the victim in the situation of everything. Now, let's talk about this weird portion of the episode where Cody plays Jenga and Uno with his kids, Brianna, Aurora, Solomon, and Ariella. No Dayton. Wouldn't want to tell people that Dayton lives in an RV illegally on the driveway, would you? Yep, by the way, it's illegal for them to live, for him to live in that RV because they don't have a conditional use permit to have that on their property. I just learned that over the weekend. But this part, part of the episode was so weird because Sister Wives used to have episodes where they actually did things, right? So they would go on trips. They would go to, I don't know, Missouri, or they would go to Montana, or they were building something, or they were moving, or they had a meeting, or they were getting, getting together to talk, or they were cooking or doing something, right? Now, all the show is is b-roll footage and i don't know if you know what b-roll footage is but when you're filming a documentary or a series there is stock footage or footage you need to show in the background for like the opening scenes where they do overheads of flagstaff or where they just follow janelle walking a dog or robin raking the yard or cody riding a bike manically through coyote pass or christine I don't know, doing something on her couch or cooking. It's basically just foot filler footage. It's not meant to be footage that is part of the story. It's just used as sort of like a backdrop so they can use it when people are doing like their talking heads, okay? It would be no different than say me using photos of them and doing a slideshow for you while I talk. It's just filler, filler footage, filler photos. It has no bearing on what I'm actually saying. Sometimes it doesn't even match the con the words that are coming out of my mouth. And that's what this game night was. The game night was them eating carameled apples and then playing on the floor in the den in the basement, Jenga and Uno, and Cody with Aurora, Brianna, Solomon and Ariella, and Robin. And then Robin and Cody basically just word vomiting about the breakups in the family. And Cody and Robin offering very different points of view here where they couldn't even get their story straight. It was pretty wild. And I kept thinking, maybe this is why they haven't been filming Robin and Cody, because maybe they're that boring. You know what I mean? Like, maybe they can't come up with actual content that people want to watch. You know, it gets to a point when you're on a series like this for so many years that the producers are always like, what's next? What else can we do? What else can we do? What else can we do to get ratings, right? There's nothing this family can do to get ratings now but to tear each other down. And I'm just going to put this out there as my public service announcement is that if you're watching the season and you're disgusted, I am too. I'm not enjoying watching it. I don't even enjoy the series anymore. I never really enjoyed the series, but I really don't enjoy it now. Now it feels invasive. It feels like these are conversations that I don't even need to know about. Like these are fights that don't need to be discussed publicly. And I just keep thinking back to how this is going to impact their kids long term and how this can't be good for them. That's all I'm thinking when I'm watching this now is like, if I were in their position, I would not do this. I would not air out everything so publicly and disparage the mother of my children or 
the mother of my stepchildren so viciously because it's never going to look good. And it's only going to hurt your relationship with those kids more. So that's where we're going to start. There are more relationships that are struggling now. I've tried several times to reach out to family members to want to talk and, and you know, to the kids and stuff like that. And they're just not ready, I guess, because I just don't hear back. They're mad at us for doing what we did to our family and, you know, that we, that we collectively messed with something that was working. My day to day is I've got this family in my house with my wife, Robin. We have this nice family experience almost perpetually. And if you get through this one, Robin, like wondering why the kids wouldn't call her back because I don't believe she actually called them, but her wondering that why kids would never call her back is hysterical because why would they call her back when she has been so degrading about them and so dismissive of them? And last season, she told them she didn't want to have Christmas with them. They keep ignoring this. And that she, you know, wasn't included in the family and they didn't accept her. So I don't know how she can talk out both sides of her ass. You know, one side, she's all, this family never included me. And the next one is, I miss my family. Like, what is it, Robin? They didn't include you or you miss them. It's like two separate polar opposite things, but both allow her to be the victim. Meanwhile, you got Cody pretending to rage cry about these breakups and then being like, at my house, we have this amazing family experience. Like every day the girls are playing their guitars. They're in music all the time. We don't let them move out. It's kind of weird. We're still letting making them live with us. I look at my stepdaughter or I look at my daughters with weird eyes. I shouldn't be looking at them like that. It's a weird thing happening in front of the America's eyes. I'm having this amazing experience with children I didn't father and I abandoned the other 13 kids in my life it's like but then he's like oh I can't believe Christine betrayed me so what is it get your story straight Solomon and Ariella don't really they are not really tracking what's happening in the family I'm really struggling with the idea of whether or not I remind them about their siblings and talk about them and show them the pictures and stuff like that because that's going to create the question of where are my siblings? Why aren't they seeing me? I want you to put a pin in the part where she said that Solomon and Ari aren't tracking what's going on because Cody's going to blow that up in a few minutes because that part, she's lying. Kids are not dumb. They know what's going on. And Cody and Robin are blabbermouths that bring their kids into everything. So they know, but hang tight. She wants us to believe that now she struggles showing them pictures when last year she said that she always showed them pictures and they always talked about the family. So what is it, Robin? You either show the pictures or you don't show the pictures. And then it brings up questions about why aren't we seeing them? And she goes as far as to say, why aren't they giving me a Christmas card or a birthday card? But why, Robin, don't you ask the question yourself, why aren't you seeing them? Why aren't you sending them gifts? Why on Christmas did you not make sure that gifts were sent to Cody's kids when tons of gifts were given to yours? Why weren't you making sure that your husband took care of his kids? Why did you walk into a family that had 13 kids and expect more from everything, of everyone? And, and why, Robin, are you the victim of coming into an established family and then crying that they didn't accept you when you did nothing to bend to them or try to conform or compromise? She is always the victim. And frankly, they don't have a relationship with Solomon and Ari because Robin never brings them anywhere. They had an opportunity to bring their kids to weddings and they didn't. There have been fa family events where they have an opportunity to bring their children and they s intentionally do not bring them because they want to keep them safe from the wicked West, from the wicked people that are not obeying the faith and that are worldly. We don't want to influence them. Robin is trying so hard to play victim lit, play like she's the victim in the situation she's not. And she's doing to her kids, Solomon and Ari, exactly what she did to her oldest kids with their dad, alienating them from the Brown siblings, alienating Aurora, Brianna, and Dayton from their father, Preston. It's like history repeating itself. Now let's go to Cody. But the rest of the family really struggled to accept my kids and I 
All we wanted to do was be a part of this family. I remember Ari just making a little statement one time, I don't like Christine. And I kind of correct her and say, you don't know her at this point well enough to like her or not. Well, she left dad and I don't like her. Well, that showed some loyalty and that same kind of loyalty is happening amongst others in the family. Do you remember when Christine, they did the filming of her leaving and Ariella was like growling at Christine and was like, have dates, have dates, like telling her that she shouldn't leave Cody and it's basically her fault for not working on her relationship. And she was very angry about it. And they were like laughing. And I said, that girl knows something and they are telling her things because no child would be angry like that at someone they barely see. And talk about things they don't know about. What seven-year-old is giving, like, dating advice to a woman near 50? It's insanity. And then he's like, I remember one time Ariella said that she didn't like Christine. Earlier, earlier, Robin said that Ariella and Solomon are not tracking what's happening in the family. She lied. She lied. They are tracking what's happening in the family. And they are literally obviously very obviously saying things about christine in that household that are disparaging because cody and robin really don't have a reason to talk about christine now they just don't cody doesn't see his kids with christine okay and she's gone she has no bearing on their day-to-day -day life she's not a part of their family experience so they have no reason to keep talking about her but ari says she doesn't like christine because she left daddy Adult children can base their relationships on their experiences with their parent as children and as adults. They have a frame of reference to make a decision on whether they like Cody or not, okay? Adult children, Christine's kids, Janelle's kids, Mary's kid, they get to decide if they like Cody based on his behavior and their experience with him. Ariella has no experience with Christine, very limited experience with Christine, not very close to Christine, knows nothing about Christine and shouldn't know anything about Christine. Not to mention, Christine is their sister's mom. How safe is it for Truly to go over to this household when her little sister hates her mom? That's not safe for Truly. What's Ari going to say about Christine to Truly? Is it any wonder why Christine filed for custody and is doing this now? Because Cody, can you imagine what Truly has probably heard in that house when she's there? I've noticed that Truly hasn't been filming much this season. She's keeping her away from these conversations. She, It's mostly been Christine with her older kids. And Cody is bringing his younger kids into this. And it's wrong. It is wrong. And he's justifying it, saying she's being loyal to me. Why are you talking about Christine leaving you? And it's frankly not normal for a child to be having these kinds of conversations because you're teaching a child that having mul multiple sex partners and quote unquote wives is okay and moral and ethical when it's not. It's actually illegal. It's wrong. It's morally corrupt. It's ethically wrong. It's good that Christine left. Not bad. Cody and Robin mismanaged the situation with her children. He couldn't be away for more than three or four days because Ari just gets so sad or whatever. I'm like, I feel like that was poor parenting through all history of the family. The other kids did it and they're fine. They're well-adjusted adults. I think they're fine. There's a couple of things that Janelle said in this episode that actually made me angry. That one was part of it. And then she also made a comment about her kids would get scolded at Robin's house when they would go into her fridge. And that was used as a way to say she was mean to them and didn't let them eat their food so that they were separate. Let's get real about this. Robin actually isn't wrong for doing that. And I can't believe I'm going to stick up for Robin here. But she was on food stamps. When you're on food stamps, you are not allowed to share food with other children that are not on the food stamp application. This means. The money that you're given every single month to help buy you groceries is to feed the children that are on the application that you fill out with the state or the county. Her children, Robin's children, her dependents were the ones that were that food was for. That food was not for Janelle's kids. Robin obeying the law in that respect, she can't be faulted. 
you can actually get in trouble for getting, you can literally get in trouble for that. You can get put in jail for doing stuff like that. That's fraud. They used to do that all the time. Christine shared her food stamp food with everyone. Just because Christine was willing to break the law and share the food stamp food with other kids doesn't mean that Robin has to break the law. That's one thing I'm going to say. If you're on food stamps, the food is for the kids that the food stamps are for, not anyone else. Janelle, your house has food. You can feed them there. And then maybe why aren't you telling everyone that she was on food stamps? Why aren't you asking Cody, why is your wife on food stamps? I mean, that's not a question that we want to have discussed on national television, right? You don't want to talk about the fact that Robin was on food stamps while they lived in Las Vegas until like 2013 or 14, two or three years, three years that she's on food stamps. That's why they didn't get food at her house. I also want to say something here. I get really tired of hearing that they have well-adjusted children. Garrison's dead. McKelty is on her Patreon talking about the pain that she has as a result of growing up in polygamy. Gwendolyn has expressed her frustrations. Peyton has expressed his frustrations. The abuse. Numerous children in this family have stated their pain and their frustration and their suffering. Being well-adjusted and becoming adults that are productive in society does not mean that what you did to them as children was right. Her saying to Cody and Robin, you didn't manage that relationship better is wrong. My kids only got to see him every third day too. I mean, I understand in this context, yes, you signed up to have your, your husband only there every fourth night. I get it. But at the same time, this whole attitude of suck it up and deal with it is a part of the problem in this family. Their response is that, well, everyone else is fine. Everyone else went through it. You need to put down boundaries with Ariel and tell her that she can't be like that. Robin didn't want to be a plural wife. Let's just be honest. She wanted to be a monogamist. She wanted Cody there all the time. She wanted her dad, her kids to have their dad there all the time. It wasn't Ari that wanted her dad there. It was Robin that was putting that in her head and she wanted her and she used Ariella as a weapon to make Cody stay there. That's wrong. Call that out instead. Don't call out the fact that they mis mismanaged the parenting. Call out the fact that Robin is using the child as a weapon to get Cody over there. And again, just because kids are productive members of society today doesn't mean they don't have scars and don't have trauma from the life they grew up in. And that one child got lost in alcohol abuse and took his own life. This was filmed before Garrison's death, but I hope at some point they recognize the damage that this lifestyle had on their children. And they stop putting this, this like, they're sanitizing all of it. They're just saying everything is fine. Yeah, every other kid in this family was neglected by Cody. It's great. Instead of riding hard for polygamy, just acknowledge that it was effed up. It may, and I want all of the parents to admit that they effed up. All of them. No one in this situation is without sin, without mistake, without problem. Every one of them is continuing to monetize this even after Garrison took his own life, even after other children have told them they want this show to go off the air. It's not helping the family. It's ruined the family. They still are monetizing this and acting like this is normal when it's not normal. This is why they need therapy. I think if Janelle had therapy, she could actually learn that what she's defending is indefensible and that what she thinks is adjusted is not well adjusted and that it's not bad parenting that a child misses their father. Robin was a bad parent for weaponizing the child to get what she wanted. That should be called out. Robin not feeding your kids because she's on food stamps is not Robin's fault. She's actually just not breaking the law. I can't believe I literally defended Robin. I feel like I need to go take a shower. All right, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click the bell so you never miss a video. Bye, everyone.